Hi, my name is Steph. I want to talk to you today about pregnancy and heartburn. When I was pregnant with our firstborn, I did not, I had never experienced heartburn before then and I started experiencing it really badly during my pregnancy with her. And I learned how to avoid some, some foods. Um, I learned to avoid dairy that was not cultured. Um, I learned to avoid you know, certain spicy foods and other things, and that helped somewhat. My midwife was able to do some adjustments with me that helped somewhat as well, but it ended up being something I kind of dealt with the rest of the pregnancy. And it was no fun at all. So I'm, we're expecting our son in about 10 weeks, and I was determined this pregnancy to find something to help me not have to be as miserable with this heartburn as I was last time. And I found a combination of different things that really helped out a lot, and I've had a heartburn all of one time this entire pregnancy and it was very mild and short-lived. So I wanted to share with you what I've learned um, to help keep heartburn at bay in pregnancy. All of these things um, should be pregnancy safe, but always check with your practitioner first. Um, the first thing I do is I try to take a little bit of raw apple cider vinegar every day. I just put a tiny splash in um, some water. You don't want it to be too acidic um, or, or too much and a little bit goes a long ways and then I'll just drink that down. Um, you can find the apple cider vinegar in almost any health food store and a lot of grocery stores now have it in their um, health section. The main thing I'd say is make sure it says raw on here um, because the regular kind that's been pasteurized is not going to get you the same effect as the raw. Um, this seems to just keep the pH of the stomach balanced pretty well and helps um, just it's a good preventative maintenance thing to do. Uh, the other thing I drink often that helps, and especially on days when I don't get around to doing the apple cider vinegar, is trying to drink a full eight ounces of kombucha, and kombucha helps a lot as well. Again, helps normalize the pH, helps to keep the gut balance um, where it needs to be. The other thing I learned is to take digestive enzymes with preferably every meal, but I don't do it every meal. Um, I do try to use it with meals that I know that I'm eating something that's gonna cause me problems. So digestive enzymes, I take the ones from Beautiful. Um, some women say they get a lot of relief from the chewable ones. Um, this is a nice broad spectrum one, so I like using it. And um, it just helps break everything down without aggravating that whole acid response um, that leads to the, uh, um, the heartburn. The other product that's really helpful, again, just as a thing to do is tummy tune up. Um, if I feel like I'm a little prone to it, or if I'm, again, if I'm eating a meal that I know might cause me problems, I just take one of these little um, capsules, oh, or I drop it. And I open it up and I put the powder on my tongue. It's very mild tasting. This is a um, probiotic blend. You can take other kinds of probiotics. They'll probably help. It's good bacteria. In the stomach, the reason I open it up is tummy tune-ups enter it coated, so you want it to um, you want the powder to hit your stomach and not necessarily um, get to your gut, which is what the enteric coating does. And last but not least, after you're dealing with heartburn, activated charcoal will neutralize it in short order. So that's what I use with pregnancy and heartburn. 